flu season. Somebody left an gross used tissue on the floor. Ew, don't want to touch it with our bare hands. Introducing <laughs> the straw robot hand. Picks up the dirty tissue without even touching it. Hello, <laughs> Baker Bears and Baker families. Um, this is uh, Mr. Farrell, the STEM Herald from Baker STEM Lab. And uh, I'm here to show you an activity that you can do during our remote learning uh, that really just requires straws and string. Um, and then if you want to add whatever kind of household items, like a piece of wood or PVC pipe, um, to make this hand, um, you're gonna need some help if you're in the younger grades, and that is okay. I really want this to be a family activity, something you can do together. Um, <laughs> it really is interesting and fun. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get um, five straws, and the reason I chose five, because five fingers, but it's your robot hand. You can make it as many fingers as you like. And by putting them together like this, I'm just gonna make two lines, um, just like we have across our fingers here, Technically, we have three, don't we? But I'm gonna keep this simple. So, one across the middle and one near the top up there, right? And I'm gonna do one line across the middle so they're all the same, in the same length. And then again, up there. And then I'm just gonna take, choose one of them. And all you wanna do is you wanna cut out a 90 degree here. And I'm gonna go about halfway and when in doubt, make it shorter, because you can always make it longer later, but you can't make it shorter. There we go. And so now I've got about halfway across, so now it will bend very easily right there on that hinge, right? And then do the same thing on this one, line it up, and then again, just a little 90 degree angle, halfway through. I find it helps if you flatten the straw out so you can measure about halfway. And now, I've got a finger that will bend in two places. That is the idea. Next step is get a piece of string and you want the string to be considerably longer. Really, the longer the better, I think, because I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna use it. So, I'd say about twice as long as the straw. And I'm gonna cut that out. And then I'm just gonna feed the string down through the straw and takes a little while. This is the part where Pam might need help. Uh, there we go. All the way down through. There we go. And this comes out through the bottom. And now I want just a little bit of that string, uh, about, a, about a half inch. Maybe three quarters of an inch. Same side where the um, the opening is. Now let's pre-cut it. If I hold the base here and I pull on the string, I have a finger. <laughs> Come here! Come over this way! That's pretty cool. And then you do the same thing for the other. next part we're gonna put the fingers together I do recommend before putting the fingers all together trying each one individually this is the very first one I did and <clears throat> for whatever reason it bends in the middle instead of on the tip first which is different than the others I like this one to do the uh, the tip of the finger first um, and then the middle I don't know why I just do <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure that all of mine are gonna do that then, um, you're just going to set this. And there's different ways to do this, but I just like to put them all facing the same direction with the opening facing out. And you're going to put them right next to each other. Make sure that the string is not going to get stuck on the tape, so I'm trying to stick out the end of the straw there. And the color arrangement is up to you. I find the more I do this, because I'll make a couple now. This is my niece's, by the way. She's working on hers. I like to just try different ways. 
kind of get better as it was practice. You also know I don't like to waste plastic. It's bad for the environment, so in this case, I'm going to keep whatever I whatever I make, so it doesn't end up in the dump. And just wrap this over. And now, just hold the string and they all come down. <laughs> so funny. And then you just get a block of wood or whatever you have around the house and you just tape it on there. And then I'm going to put a little loop in the string here. I haven't decided how long I want it to be. And then you just, you just pull on the string. There it goes. These are bendy in this case, so you can spread them out a little bit like a rake for just a bigger hand. And I went ahead and I attached, I just taped this one on to a PVC pipe. My original plan was to put the string inside it uh, kind of hide the string, but I find that it's just simpler to hold If I put my finger through the loop here, and then the rest of my hand holds it and then I can just pull down the string <laughs> It's a puppet basically um, Really simple really fun And then um, you know, that's just the beginning after that you can do other fun stuff and it does actually work with the little paper ball test here so the stem challenge is build a robot hand to pick up all the paper and takes a little practice. <laughs> there we go. You can actually even throw it. <laughs> it's a working prosthetic hand that actually does pick things up and puts them back down. Ooh, even picks up the cord. Look at that. Oh, whoa, camera. Straw, hand, robotic hand, STEM challenge. Have fun. See you next time. <laughs>